Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. This evening, I am going to make a box, or I'm going to show you how I've made this box. And this box is going to be a, um, uh, a block, a baby toy block. And this is what it's going to look like. This, I have a little handy dandy sketchbook. I like to write my ideas and my thoughts out. Like when I was making my statuettes, these are the things that I wanted to make. This is the jewelry. This man's outfit. This right here is a, a, a loincloth. The spears, hats. I mean, um, this is a shield and the spears, a drum. Mm-hmm. So I like to sketch before I make the stuff. Should have had it on the page already, huh? All right, here we go. This is gonna be project number two. I sketched it out really soft, I mean, um, just lightly. But you can tell what it is, which is a baby block. Inside there's some filler. This right here is supposed to be a cute little bear, even though it looks like a monkey. And a, a dowel, which is this what I have right here. I'm going to use this size. I think it'll be strong enough. This, this little bear right here is very lightweight. Very lightweight. So I'll be using him. He'll be hanging on this stick like this bear is here. And, of course, you can see all this right here is supposed to be balloons. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to do. The way I'm going to make the balloons, uh, the way I'm going to shape the balloons is I'm going to make a, uh, a garland of balloons. And then just pull them together until it looks like a circle. Or it looks round, not like a circle, but you know, it has a round circumference. But that's it. It's my little sketch. Mm hmm Oh. So, yep, that's project. This is project number two, guys. Hey, and if you like my channel or like what I've been doing so far, give me a thumbs up, a like. I greatly appreciate that. And you could also subscribe. And hit that bell, notification bell, so each time I upload a new video, you'll get that notification and you'll get to see what I have going on next, right? Alright, so what I have here, this is done out of styrofoam board, poster board. It was already, it was a piece that I had already cut off, as you see here. This is 8 inches Give me the bare fur. Eight inches, thirty inches, um, thirty divided by four is seven and a half. So seven and a half inches. Four. I'm going to score them. You can see the line a little bit. I don't know if you can see right here. I have a marker in each part, and I'm going to score it so that way I can shape it like this cut out a bottom put it in I'm going to show you how, guys how to do that and the bear this is the bear that I'm going to use like I said we're going to use our imagination and I'm going to turn him into a simulation of Winnie the Pooh um, this bear out of the four that I bought had the cutest face you can see his eyes the other ones the ears are pushed back more and the eyes are all covered up this one here He's a little, little cuter. You see what he is, a bear. All right, that's what I'll be using. So, I'm gonna show you how, what I mean by scoring. Oh, this knife right here, this box cutter, this is way better than these little, these. They just, I don't know if they have sharpeners, and I, and I did have some spare blades. Don't know where they are. But right now, this right here, this is even better. 
than these are when they're brand new and sharp. Exacto knives. That's what they are. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do? Right where you see, I'm just gonna graze across the line. I'm just grazing across the line. I'm not taking it all the way through. Try to be as straight as possible. All right, and by doing that, it makes possible for me to. And I'll close it in like that. Put you like that there. And these edges right here, I'm just going to put them together the same way these edges look. See how that looks like that? And do the same thing here. Glue it together that way. together. Ouch. Hot glue, hot glue. Wait for it to dry. This glue gun is, um, the glue sticks are a little thicker, so the glue comes out a little thicker, so I have to hold it a little longer, a few seconds longer than if I had the regular mini glue gun, hot glue gun. All right, and then once I think it's dry enough, and this is what I have so far. Now for the inside, the inside part. Remember that movie? Anybody ever see that movie, Beloved? And she said, I want you to... What she said, I want you to touch me on the inside parts. <laughs> Anytime I... Look, me and my daughter were just laughing about that. I can't help it. From, move, from being a movie watcher and listening to songs, when people say certain phrases, it, it sticks to me. It, like, it sticks to me where I'm going to possibly repeat it <laughs> oh boy so now what I do is take another piece and I like to line it up take that whole piece and line it up with the straight corners and I line it up just a little bit past the edge because I'm going to put that inside I'm going to make it uh, what I call it flesh flesh means it's just going to be straight across the bottom like this it doesn't protrude out it's just oops there you go it's just Smooth across. There we go. Wait. Okay. That was horrible. A horrible vision. Didn't do it right. Alright, I want to line this up with this corner right here. Perfect. And then.
try to stay on the line as much as possible. Well, you see how easy that was with that knife? Yes. Move this out of the way. Then I put this in from the top. I had to stand up. Alright, I take this piece. I push it in from the top. Like I said, I want it to be just even on the bottom. Just like that. Flat all the way around. And then I just glue it from the inside. And I just do the same thing all the way around. That's how I build my box, guys. That's the inside. Okay. Now the way. Now I already have these uh, sticks cut out. These are also the post poster foam poster and these are going to be the border around the block like this they have to come down but you get the idea I'm just going to be down here like that and this goes like that and then inside here the letter B for boy will be here so that's where I'm at with this project and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them on but I just want to show you how I built the box and then we'll take it from there I'll be back be right back thumbs up if you like what you see so far okay guys what I'm gonna do is start putting on show you how I'm putting putting on the trim Okay, now for the middle piece, here again, I'm going to be eyeballing it. Just 
squeeze it right on in. I sure did. Mm, we'll do the next one like that too. I'm gonna use this. Hopefully, it could be the same measurement. Let me do like this first, just to make sure. Alrighty. Again, again. Just push it right on in. And here we go, guys. And I'm going to do this all the way around. And I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. Alright guys. I have all sides. Keep forgetting to turn my light back on. I have all the sides. Completed. All four sides only. Have the trim. Once I spray paint this, which is what I'm going to do, spray paint this, these gaps will be filled in. These gaps will be filled in as I go along. So, yeah. So far, so far. Now, for the top, the way I'm going to do the filler, this is what I have for the filler. I'm using this floral moss. And that's gonna go up here on the top. You know, open it up and we'll fluff it out. And I like this. This is a nice dark, dark green floral moss. Um, so the way I'm gonna fill this up though, I'm only gonna use one bag. But this cone right here, styrofoam floral cone. You can use this. What I'm gonna do is stick it in the middle. Not middle with a T, but in the middle with a D. And clean up some of this debris. I like to clean and work at the same time. Can't do a lot of clutter. Alright, so what I'm going to do is this will be glued on inside here in the middle. The dowel will be pushed through here. And then this piece here will go over top as such. And I'll push it down until it fits the groove like this. And uh, and then I'll fill it up. Because... Mm -mm. Uh -oh. There we go. So I'm going to glue that in place and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got the dowel in, the cone in the middle is glued in, the platform is in place, and I'm just going to glue it. right there but that doesn't matter no one's going to see it yep so I still have to purchase the the bees um the, the, the blah, 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 blah. what I'm trying to say the um the wooden the wooden bees alphabet or letter B then I'm gonna get four of them to put in the middle of each square space on this block and little by little guys it's coming along like I said this will go inside here it'll be fluffed up and all that stuff this box will be painted uh, this box will be painted gold and so will the letters it'll, it'll just you know the letters will stand out because they'll be three-dimensional and uh, like I said, this whole thing will be painted gold inside and around. Mr. Bear 
Mr. Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to fix him up. Oops. And I'm going to take this boat. Uh oh. There we go. I'm going to take this bow off because Winnie the Pooh does not wear a bow. Take this bow off. I have some red material. I'll make a, a red t shirt and I'll probably put Pooh on it or, or honey. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a P for Pooh, H for honey. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, we'll see as I go along. And, you know, the bear will be hanging on like this. And this goes. Oh, my setup, guys, is uh, acting shady on me today. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. It's a little crooked, but there we go. Um, yep, the bear will be hanging on here like this. Let me step back a little. And up the top will be a bouquet of balloons. So that's project number two. And I'll keep you guys posted on, on it as I go along. I'll save the spray painting for the next video because it's dusk and the sun is going down. It's getting dark out now. And I don't want to do what I did to you last time working outside in the dark. And so, you know, and uh, like I said, next video will be part two of project two. And I will, we'll be finishing up. No, well, maybe not finishing up, but it'll be part two. Part two of project two. And that will be spray painting and applying the alphabet to it. Um, and I'll... Uh, Maybe in a second sitting, I might be able to, I mean, a third sitting, I'll show you how I make the balloon, do the balloon garland so that I can shape it into a nice round shape to put on top of this stick here, this dowel. So guys, if you like what I've done so far, give me a thumbs up and can share it let somebody else see what I'm doing if you like what I'm doing comment below if you have any suggestions or ideas that I could use in the meantime before I get to the painting and applying the alphabet um, hit that notification bell so that the next upload will be new and I'll be able to show you what I'm doing next all right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, whichever time of day it is for you. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.